it's Michelle with The Building for Kids. Today I have another art technique for you. This one uses leaves. I love the colors that change in the fall and the leaves you get to play in and just the way things are happening outside now that it's autumn. Um, so today we are going to do a painting project with some leaves we found. So you need some paper, you need some leaves that you picked up. They can be green or they can be colorful. It's kind of fun to pick out the colorful ones you like. And we need some kind of paint. Uh, we also need some sort of tool to put our paint down. And there's a lot of different things we can use for this. I'll talk about that in a second. So let's start with a piece of paper. I'm gonna use this pink. I think that will show up better. I'm gonna take a leaf, put it down. Got my paint. So today, I'm going to use a piece of foil to dab my paint, but we need something to use that we can dab with. So you could use a sponge, you could use the bristle part of a paintbrush, you could use your fingers and finger paint. Um, anything like that would work, but we need to be able to press the paint down and dab with it. So I'm gonna try this ball of aluminum foil today. And I'm gonna dip it in my paint, and then I'm gonna go around the edges of my leaf that I found. And I can change colors while I'm doing that. When I'm done dabbing my paint, I'm going to pick up my leaf and I will have the outline of the leaf. We were using it as a stencil. So it looks something like that if my leaf didn't move around too much. And I can fill my whole paper with the different leaves I found. This time I think I'm going to finger paint. And there we go. There's my leaf painting. You know, the aluminum foil took a lot longer, but I like how speckledy the edges are. The finger painting was pretty fun though. It got pretty messy quickly. I liked that too. I would love to see pictures of what you make with your leaves and what technique you used. If you used something else and you really liked how it turned out, let us know. Show us in the comments. We would love that. Well, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon.